you challenged me, maybe maybe not you exactly, but someone did, to create a 433 tactic that transforms into a 343 diamond. And we, yes we, we've developed an outstanding 433 tactic that not only dominates games, but does so with grace and style. I'm here to thoroughly explain the tactic and we have a surprise at the end. We've reached the final of the Euros Championship, but with who and who will we be facing in that final? We'll find out. Welcome back my beautiful people, we do have a challenge today which came from a viewer in the YouTube comments, shout out to Jeffrey Wu, but he wanted me to create a 4-3-3 tactic that transforms into a 3-4-3 diamond. With positional play now in Football Manager, we are able to transform one formation into another, but why exactly the 3-4-3 diamond? What is it about that that we love? The 3-4-3 formation allows both the midfield and defence to create diamond shapes. The wide centre back takes on a role similar to fullbacks, ensuring coverage across the pitch. During the build-up, position and pitch width are paramount. The diamond-shaped midfield provides short passing options for the central defenders. In this formation, the central defensive midfielder, the CDM, serves as the engine and the attacking midfielder, the CAM, functions as a second striker, whilst also offering support and overloading the midfield when needed. The central attacking midfielder and striker can interchange positions, with the striker dropping back to create numerical advantage in midfield or making counter moves movements to exploit spaces so the striker can drop and the attacking midfielder can push forward creating that counter movement. Wingers are required to maintain width during the build-up, stretching the opposition's defence and creating space for players in the central areas. And during the transition to defence, high positioning allows for a swift press or counter-attack. If possession is lost centrally, the team can cut off one side of the pitch and then transition into a lateral press, making the pitch smaller and regain possession. If possession is lost wide, the wingers can immediately initiate the press. Those are just a handful of the strengths of a 3-4-3 diamond and why we love that formation. But now in Football Manager, we're going to look at some particular roles first, which enables us to create this 3-4-3 diamond from our 4-3-3 start information. A huge appreciation to everyone that has shown support over the last few days. I mean, you can see here with the highlighted names that have joined onto the Patreon. So I appreciate you guys the most. We do have a lot of bonus content coming on Patreon as well, as well as the couple that we have at the moment. If you want to see me do the World Cup with we're using that tactic, make sure you sign up to Patreon and see that bonus content. So come over join us have fun as many people have mentioned under the replies to the main comment there are many ways you can actually do this my way of creating this back three is simply using one inverted fullback it doesn't have to be an inverted fullback it can be a fullback on defense a wing back on defense a defensive duty would do here but we will use the inverted fullback because it is sort of tailor-made it is perfect for what we are trying to create and attempt here that still leaves us with a back four which means that our right back now has to be fairly adventurous getting further forward making sure that he leaves that back line on a regular basis again there are a few roles that you could use a fullback on attack a wing back on attack complete wing back on attack i went for an inverted wing back on attack because the main focus here is also to create that diamond shape in the back line but also in midfield using the tactic screen we can sort of try and recreate that movement so i'm just going to move the central midfielder into the middle here because that's going to allow our inverted wing back on attack attack to get further forward and be on the right side of a diamond in midfield. One of our central defenders are going to shift across into midfield that allows our inverted fullback now to shift across as well. If our ball playing defender or central defender is on cover, that allows us to create a diamond with the defensive midfielder, the centre back, the centre back and the centre back. So the two wider centre backs and the uh, middle one here, that allows us to create that diamond in our back line. Now, if I want to create that diamond in midfield with our inverted wing back here on the right hand side, someone in our midfield is got to push further forward, which should be 
our centre midfielder. And just like that, we can create our diamond shape, our 3 4 3 formation. So now going back to the main tactic screen, what I want to do to recreate that. Now it's going to look funky. It might be a little, little bit off putting for some people, but we're just going to move that right side of central midfielder into the middle because with positional play and that central midfielder on attack, he is going to look to get further forward into this little sort of area here. But if I do move him into the middle and that allows the inverted wing back to cut inside here, now the central midfielder really only has one area to attack and that is vertical straight ahead and that allows us to create our diamond now if you just want a good football manager tactic you of course don't have to create this funky shape in midfield you could just have a standard 4 3 3 but we are trying to create something very particular and sometimes when you are trying to create that it has to look a bit funky or asymmetric though we have managed to create in theory our diamond at the back line and in the midfield line as well i don't think we're actually finished with the very important roles me my honest opinion the two wingers are very important because they have to maintain width at all time if the inverted wing back or the inverted fullback is going to come inside and be a part of the back three and if the inverted wing back is going to push further forward to become a part of that midfield diamond then the wingers have to maintain width and that also allows us to create a better balance within our tactic considering the inverted wing back on the right hand side is on attack i'm going to leave the right one on support and then on the left hand side we are going to use a winger on attack that there are the main mechanics for me in creating this 343 diamond from a 433 formation we're not exactly finished there with this amazing tactic we do have to fill in the player roles the team instructions and we still have a couple player roles to finish as well So to start with the roles in goal, we are going to be using a sweeper keeper on attack in defense, which is going to use two ball playing defenders. Now, if you want a very, very well balanced tactic, you don't have to. You can have one ball playing defender and one central defender as well. Another very important thing, these videos aren't exactly to be 100% plug and play style. I am trying to explain these things in order to help you create your own tactics as well. The download link will always be there. The tactic will always be strong. So you could say there's sort of two purposes. You can come for the download link or you can come for the tactical information now we're moving into our single pivot we're just going to have him as a defensive midfielder on support i did try an anchor roll and a halfback and defensive midfielder on defense even actually it did create a little bit of an unbalanced the left side of midfield we are using a central midfielder on support or you could go with a carrilero making sure that he stretches the pitch because of course having the pitch wide is going to be fairly important not the most important we do have two wingers naturally doing that in our our attack based on performance results and my experience using this tactic i would say the central midfielder on support is the stronger role here though the carrilero to be fair is a lot more intriguing and interesting we have completed the two winger roles lastly up top we are going to use a pressing forward on attack now this is just only to be slightly different from the other videos because recently i have been using a complete forward a lot earlier in the analysis i did say that your center forward can drop and allows your attacking midfielder to get further forward creating that sort of counter movement but then again i just didn't want to use a complete forward again again and again because i do have plans to use the complete forward again <laughs> in the future so for the player roles the attacking width is on narrow just moments ago i did say that stretching the pitch is fairly important but we have got that naturally through the two wingers by them staying wider you can use a carrilero in this instance because he's also going to help stretch and try and sort of disorganize the opposition by staying wider approach play we are playing out from the back and looking to focus through the middle we're trying to get the best out of that diamond in the middle passing directness on shorter and tempo slightly higher transition is to counter press and counter attack we did try to create a very good football manager tactic and sometimes these instructions do help and then for the goalkeeper we are going to roll it out and distribute the ball to the center back lastly out of possession we're just going to high press trickle press more often and step up more that there is the completed tactic rdf and viewers perfect for free 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 for free diamond 
version. That there is the tactic all wrapped up. With a completed version, you will get sort of, you know what, I'm just going to give you multiple versions for you to choose from. In your game, you can test it. So I am going to give you a version with Carolero. I am going to give you a version where it's just a standard 4-3-3 as well. Now, if you've got some good eyes, those eagle eyes out there, you would have noticed that we are England. And in the finals of the Euros Championship, we do have the Netherlands. Though, I do want to say, again, for Patreon, shout out to the Patreon members, if you do want some bonus content, I will be playing the World Cup as well. So I'm going to be playing the World Cup as a sort of stream Let's Play style on my Patreon as bonus content using this tactic and of course with England. So make sure you go and check out my Patreon if you can. So this is the team that we're going to go with. Ramsdale at the back with Kyle Walker, Ben White, Tamori and Ben Chilwell. Rice as the single pivot. Bellingham ahead of him playing that cam roll with Madison to his left. Jack Grealish, Sterling and Kane complete the front three. We have a... Oi, it's early. Oh, Van Dijk heads it out. Here's Sterling. Drives into the box. He's running that goal, surely. Oh, it's blocked. And there's Jack Greenish. It's the Netherlands nil. England won with an early goal from a set piece. It was from a set piece, but we're obviously going to take that. We don't care how these goals come as long as they come. Thick and fast. Here's Sterling. Oh, he, he's, who's that fullback? Gertrude. Absolute ghost passing. Jack Grealish with an easy tap in. Here's De Ligt. Gertrude. De Ligt. Oh, you can press him there. Well done, Benjamin White. Madison, oh, I saw some runners there. Here's Tamori. And now we can sort of see our diamond shape forming in midfield. So we've got our back three here. We've got Declan Rice holding, Madison on the left, Bellingham as the top of the diamond, tip of the diamond. And then we've got Walker as well. The two wingers, of course, we've got a very, very narrow attacking width. But the two wingers, of course, will be looking to stretch that pitch. Here's Benjamin White. Yay, yay, yay. That scared me there. Declan. Oh, yeah, yeah, that pass scared me as well. Come on, these risky passes, but we've made it through, though. Jack Grealish. Oh, he's hit the bar. I mean, those passes are scary. So not much is happening in the opening 30 minutes. Of course, we scored a goal, and we've also hit the woodwork. We have been dominating this game so far. The Netherlands haven't had a single shot at all. Statistically, it is all England. We may have to watch the second half on extended highlights, given... Absolutely nothing is showing in that first half. So let's go into the second half. And what we are going to do is pull it on extended. So here is the Netherlands goalkeeper kicks it long. Benjamin White wins the ball. Kane flicks it around the corner to Sterling. He's going to drive at the defenders. Walker all gets tackled from behind. Chilwell picks up a loose ball. I can't believe Stengs didn't get there there. Jack Grealish. Madison. It's a poor pass, man. Come on, boys. Here's Declan Rice. Into Jack, that's a look, that's a lovely pass. Jack Grealish, there we go, there we go. Jack Grealish, second goal of the game, and it's the Netherlands two. <coughs> Netherlands nil, England two. What a pass from my boy, Decky Rice. Let me have a sip of my tea. That is very hot. But I did say, Declan Rice as the number six. I did say, 55 minutes in, I'm still dominating. Netherlands haven't had a single shot. I should keep my mouth closed. Here's Chilwell. Tamori. Don't run into each other. Decky Rice. Bellingham. Hey, these passes are risky midfield. And look at Wal look at Walker. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah, uh, no. So uh, let's go back a second. Who lost that ball there? If they score their first shot of the whole game, I'm going to be fuming. So Bellingham into Sterling. Walker's running forward. That is an absolute rubbish pass. And the worst thing is, Sterling doesn't have risky passes or anything. That is an absolute terrible pass. But here's Memphis. Cuts inside. Ooh, that was close. So England have a corner. It's Madison. Again, I did pick Madison. Or this, oh, okay. Taylor heads it out. Never mind. Never mind. Bellingham. Chill well. Tamori. We're going to keep going backwards. I don't mind resetting. I, I want to see if we can form that diamond again. And there we are. Bellingham, Walker, Madison, Rice. We are forming that 3-4-3 three, three diamond. Sterling into Walker. Here's Walker. Ref! Something! Oh, what happened there? I, I did think Walker could uh, 
Pull that back into the six yard box as Madison is gonna hit one. Oh, jeez, I wish you didn't. He did take a deflection though. Whips it to Harry Kane and he heads it over. We can look to make a sub now. Decky Rice for Calvin Phillips. Let's get on Jared Bowen. Hendo at right back? Absolutely not. Hendo. Let's get James Madison off the mount. It has been a dominating game for England so far. We've only got 15 minutes of play left. The Netherlands have only had one shot at goal. Here's Mason Mount with a corner on the edge of the ball. Oh, we've just hit the post. I'm not even sure what happened there. Netherlands have switched to a 4-2-3-1, trying to get something from this game as Mount steps up. I mean, the assistant's telling me to bring Hendo at right back. Here's Bowen. Bellingham, and it's gone wide. Toh, Henderson skips past him, but Aki picks up the loose ball. Virgil van Dijkums. Here's Ake. Let's make it difficult for them to play out from there, boys. That's too easy. That's, where, where are we defending? The formation change has, I don't know, helped them a tiny piece, but the game is about to end. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, it will end now. Could Mesa mounts on the ball to Mori. Come on, play it into Hendo. There we are. Hendo, just shoot, just shoot. It's the last, oh, <laughs> and we've got a corner. Come on, boys, just waste time and wrap up that trophy as we do have uh, to see the results that we got with England, of course, winning the championship. And we did test this very quickly at Manchester City where the striker scored an absolute, I mean, the striker is Haaland. <laughs> so we have won the European Championship as England finally Southgate out. RDFN is exactly what we want. Also, Jeffrey Wu as well for uh, recommending this tactic. But here comes England with the trophy lift. Cheers. Cheers, people. Cheers. Absolute cheers for another cup. <laughs> but let's go and have a look at these results. Of course, we did win it, but we also won it by scoring the most goals. We had a decent defense to us as well. We conceded four fronts with the best, with two conceded, though we did have the joint best clean sheets in the tournament. Most dribbles made, we come in second. Most tackles, we come in third as well, which is fairly surprising. Fifth with the possession, few shots against. I mean, there we could do better defensively, but we did have the most shots for at goal. As said, it was also tested with Manchester City where we scored 117 goals, the best defence, of course, most clean sheets, most dribbles made as well, looking at the possession, uh, possession we come in third, fewer shots against, so we defend the better with Manchester City, of course, at club football with the most shots for. So absolute dominant with a top tier side. For the competitions at Manchester City, we managed to win every single trophy, but the FA Cup getting knocked out by a championship side in Leicester City. In the uh, Champions League final, we did manage to beat PSG convincingly, Haaland double and a Phil Foden goal. But here are the goals. Here's Ruben Diaz bringing the ball forward into Carl Walker on the right side of that midfield and allows Haaland to smash it in the net. For the second goal of the game, Garvio again, similar area here. You see that diamond in midfield, Rodrigo, KDB, Walker and Foden here as well. So Ruben brings it forward into Walker's path. Foden breaks through. Lovely, lovely finish by Foden. And now lastly, another. Here comes the diamond, Rodrigo, KDB and you have Walker on the right hand side. KDB plays it over the top to Haaland. You ain't going to stop him. Ain't stopping him. And that there is 3-0 to Manchester City. But that there also wraps up today's video. By the way, Haaland did end up scoring 69 goals. Basically 70. I'm sorry if that's in the title. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. God bless and peace out. Don't forget to support your boy on Patreon.